All right, hey, this is, a, this is a theater project. Uh, it's about musical theater. Basically, I'm doing a Little Mermaid. Yeah, I'm uploading this here too. So, uh, you know, why not? Getting a video out. <laughs> Basically, there are a bunch of different things we, we can do in regards to it, but for me, I'm going to be doing a parody of the Little Mermaid mus musical, so, you know, whatever. I don't know if it's going to be considered a parody or not, but it's something. The other thing is we place a musical number with a couple lines. I mean, I guess I'm going to be doing that in here. You'll, you'll probably figure it out. And then, uh, then finally, I'll be disgracing the art form of musical theater by uh, doing a little cover. So I'm going to try and get this as a, as a little nutshell kind of thing, but also a parody. So, uh, I present to you, uh, Big Mer Boy, because I'm a boy, but it's basically going to be the same thing. Uh, so, uh, this is Ariel, you know, uh, er, er, Armin, we're going to say Armin. Alright, so basically it starts out like, swimming in. Hey, Pop, humans are cool, right? I might want to go up, 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 up someday. No. No. Whatever, Pop. S swimming away. This is swimming, right? Yeah, swim, swim, swim. Help, my boat's burning. I'm a prince, and I'm, uh, I'm hot, because prince. And fire, boat, boat, crash, burn. Help, uh, whoa. Hot Prince, and he's in trouble. Better save. Swim, 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 swim. Uh, I passed out. Now I'm on shore. Uh, oh God, I better help this man. I can sing. Uh, the, uh, I, you know, I have a better idea. I can't sing, so I'm breaking the fourth wall a little bit. But uh, we're gonna do this. Whoa, what is that great melody? I'm suddenly awake. Whoa. Merman, per, mermaid, I don't know anymore. Merthing, pretty merthing. Beautiful voice that saved me. I must know more. I must go. My people need me. Dive. Spoosh! <laughs> wow, humans are neat. Time to go to my collection. Is this the part where we do lines instead of a song? You know, we're like. <laughs> got a spoon. Uh, this is a fork, actually. I got, <laughs> I got a fork. Dingle hopper, bird, bird seagull, fork. <laughs> got a music box, you know. I'm cool, human stuff. <coughs> hey, what did I say about human? <laughs> oh no, pop. You're destroying my stuff. Why? No. <laughs> human bad. Bad human. Uh, I'm gonna go away to Auntie Ursula. She'll help me. <laughs> now, now I'm Ursula. Hang on, we need something to depict Ursula. I mean, she has tentacles. This is a tail. I guess this works. Uh, okay. So you wanted to make a deal with me to get legs and become a princess with the prince and etc and you want to marry him with legs how did you know that it's not like i told you that i had a plan to try and get legs and then go up onto the earth and marry the prince because i don't want to be here anymore i mean the humans have so much culture it's a lot better than fish culture which basically just revolves around smelling bad, having a Atlantis that the humans made and was just drowned, and then also having a bunch of like barnacles and leeches uh, like use us without consent. Well, I mean, you, you said it right there. I mean, you said it right there, man. I don't know. So this is the part where I sing. I'm not gonna sing it all. I'm not gonna sing it well, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, here we go. I pull up the lyrics on on Google. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They were kidding when they called me, well, a witch, wit wizard, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a man. But you'll find that nowadays that I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. Like Nintendo Switch. True? Yes. I unfortunately know a little magic. 
is a talent that I always have possessed. And dear lady, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic. <laughs> Poor unfortunate souls. In pain. In need. This one longing to be thinner. This one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. That, okay, then this part. Uh, those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true, that's the part. They come flocking to my call in this cauldron, crying spells or salam, because I'm a boy. Please. Well, not really, actually. I don't know. The, the continuity of this is getting out of hand. And I help them. Yes, I do. That's the end of the song. I'm breaking the fourth wall again. Okay, so... Give me your voice. I'll give you legs, and you'll have three days. Get out. Alright. Alright. Here we go with the magic. <laughs> the magic. Magic. Yeah, that's the magic. Okay, I'm done with this scene. Hey! Alright, uh, narrator. His, this, now this is Sebastian. He wasn't here for a while. He's late. You don't have voice, Armin. <laughs> Uh, go find the prince, and don't make fun of my stereotypical voice. Yeah. Okay, so this is the light- uh, hang on, wait. I'm still so bad. This is the lightning round, so basically, here's what happens. Sebastian gets chased by a cook right, while she's at the palace, and she can't talk, you know. It's like... Uh... It's like, the chef's like this, he's like... Oh! He's like... Ah, yeah, he chases after him with a knife because he's a chef and he's crayfish or whatever. I don't know. Sebastian's a lobster, like Larry from SpongeBob. Not really. He's just a crustacean. And then there's the part where, hang on, I need the hat again. Where Sebastian's like, hey, kiss the girl, kiss, yeah, ki no wait, boy, cause boy, kiss the boy. It's gay now, I guess. Kiss the boy, and then they don't. The Ursula's eels are late. They flip the they flip the flip the boat over before he can, and then it doesn't happen. And then Ursula gets the power, and she goes up to the dad, and she's like, or Papa, I guess, and she's like, "Hang on, I need my hat." Turns him into one of her uh, scloomy woomies, you know, uh, wibbly wobbly. They're the poor unfortunate soul thing. So they're like, bah, 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 you know, he just goes like, and, and he goes late. He goes late. And then she takes a, takes a trident in the movie for the power of sea. She wants to rule earth and sea. And she be, you know, you know the story. And in the end, you know, they have the big fight in the movie. It's a boat that stabs her and she dies. And the version of the musical that I saw, uh, she melts because a shell is thrown down. So I'm just going to mimic that. Ah, don't throw the shit. <laughs> Where did this voice come from? And then dies like, ah! and then she's dead. And then Aram and the pr the prince that was on the boat live happily ever after in a nice, yeah, accepting world that uh, I don't want to go that far with the joke. Anyways, this was a really good video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, everybody watching, I guess. Uh, if you're watching on my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe. Yeah. I got a good way to end this off. That's the end. That's the end of the video. Thanks.